me really really warm today it is a bit windy but it is what it is in fairness it's only april so we shouldn't really be complaining um oh, my rash is back on my arm from my running strap so i'm gonna have to sort that out so um last night um i think before i watched rocky and then last night i watched rocky too and obviously i'm gonna watch all of them even though i probably know them all going perfect but i noticed something and have you noticed right rocky loves adrian with all his heart it's absolutely wholeheartedly and when she runs to the ring in the end of rocky she's really dowdy and frumpy with her hat on and everything and as she runs through the crowd and she loses her hat and everything she becomes pretty and as the film goes on the more he loves her the more glamorous she gets and i appreciate this money and that involves but you know it, it just shows that when um somebody loves you and appreciates you how different people look so it's something to really look out for especially at these times when everybody seems so trapped and isolated how people are appearing how they're looking you know if they're flourishing if somebody is in love you can see it they're just happy they smile more there's a difference about them and then when somebody becomes trapped in a relationship they become more withdrawn and i think that's really important just to kind of look out for um, so I was, I, I love the Rocky films. Every time I watch them, I think I'm going to get really fit. And I feel as if I'm actually kind of doing it this time. Me and my brother used to, uh, Jay used to watch it and we used to go down the garage and train and things like that. And um, my favourite, knowing Rocky IV when he's driving and they've got the No Easy Way Out song and he looks in every like window. We used to play the game of like saying which Rocky film like each scene was from. So that was fun good times um i can always remember watching rocky fall for the very first time on itv on a saturday night with my bampy and um, we watched it all and know when rocky actually finally knocks drago out my great nan my nanny pits rang my bab missed it and it was before sky plus and things and you couldn't record it and he was absolutely livid that he'd missed it <laughs> it's one of my favorite memories but i was reading yesterday so um all the heavyweights you know heavyweight is like exciting boxing to watch and everything um and obviously i was a massive tyson fan and everything else when i was younger but i always really liked the middleweights and the welterweights and um i was reading about tony bellow yesterday and he is like one of my modern day heroes i absolutely love i love an underdog i absolutely love wherever we'll go on in my life i will always support the underdog i'll never go for the odds on favourite I would always always go for the underdog and I love Tony Bello and I love his story I love how down to earth he is and he was saying that um, since he stopped boxing he's afraid that he's going to end up in prison because of his anger and things because obviously sportsmen they they have this passion this drive and when that, that goes they kind of get lost in something and I was reading it and I was like you know and he done that Ant Middleton SAS who days wins and he was saying like how that kind of like focused him and things but he is he, he said he's not a horrible really bad word but he's afraid sometimes that if something um would turn him that he wouldn't be able to stop and um obviously stop boxing because his wife have said if she don't she he divorce um she divorce him but I was looking back then of all the kind of boxers um because you've got Arto Gatti, he obviously had a lot of demons um, and then you look like Mickey Ward and things like that. Um, t some of the best fights were the, like Shane Neary, Steve Collins, um, Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank. Like Nigel Benn, obviously, um, when he fought Jeremy Clennan, it was on my birthday and obviously he ended up on life support and I can remember being absolutely distraught, bereft, everything and I can remember my mother and my nan saying to my mum, she's not to watch it anymore and I, I, you know, I was very old but obviously I carried on watching it but all of these sportsmen they seem to kind of lose themselves a little bit when they lose sport and I suppose it's the same as anything if you're in a career you love and it's taken away from you and sometimes when they retire if they're not quite ready to they become quite angry so I think fitness keeps people really sane um, and I think that's why a lot of people turn to fitness is because of that mental health the anxiety the anger there's lots of things if you look at like Mike Tyson Cass put him into boxing because he probably would have ended up in prison for a very long time um, but it's looking at all those things like Mickey Ward 
had a really, really difficult life. He had his demons and things like that. But I just think it's important to look at people when they're struggling and look at all the people in your life and look at what's going on. So there we go. Um, I've got nothing to report today. Um, homeschool is done. Lennon's still up in his bedroom. Mine Logan's is done. <sighs> Finished the garden. Lovely. Um, everything, I waited, waited for things to be delivered. But now I'm going to paint the outside walls. So now where my house is, obviously my house is the length of the hill and then the garden steeps around it. Now that exterior wall that, you know, I don't even get to look at, I'm painting that. What is life? So there we go guys. I hope you have a lovely day and look for those people who are flourishing, look for those people who are struggling. But yeah, just think of Talia Shire when she just runs to the ring and she becomes beautiful and she starts to glow within about three minutes. Have a lovely day. Bye.